there are two types of loops we are going to see in level 2 while loop and for loop in this session we are going to see about while loop while loop is just like our if statement but it will run many many times do you remember if statement from level 1 very easy topic correct we had a good time with writing a lot of programs using if else statement let us write first write a simple if condition so i am writing n equal to 1 and if n is less than or equal to 10 i am going to print n so definitely n is less than 1 i mean less than 10 correct so now let us save the file and run the code now python will run this code one time and it will print 1 because n is less than 10 and the condition is true now let us add one more print statement here let us write print if condition was checked successfully <coughs> excuse me now save the file and run the code so n value is printed and after that the statement if condition was checked successfully is also printed now let us write the same code in a loop so we can check this condition again and again how do we do that instead of using if we will use while here so we will change that if and we will put while while is a loop so it will keep checking the condition again and again continuously okay so i made the change here so i change if to while so for while loop also just like if statement we have to use tab to indent the code if we don't give indent it will show an error now save the file and run the code you can see that we have written only one print statement but it is printing the count again and again for if it printed only once but now it is printing again and again because it is running in a loop so how is this loop happening let me explain in detail so in the first statement we had given n is equal to 1 in the second statement we are checking for the condition if n is less than 10 the condition is true because 1 is lesser than 10 so python will go to this print statement and print the value of n so up to this point up to here the if statement and while statement works the same way but after printing this line if we are using if statement python will go to the next print statement and print this statement that if condition was checked successfully but now after printing the statement because we are using while it will not go to the next statement but it will go back to this while statement that is why it is called a loop because it goes back to the while statement the condition is true so it will print the count again then it will go back to the while statement again check the condition again and print the value again like this it will continue printing the value of n again and again that is why it did not print this statement saying that the if condition was checked successfully at all because it is still going in a loop here because <coughs> so this is the difference between if and while python will run the if statement only one time but for while loop it will go back to the while uh, statement again and again and run continuously in this example the condition is always true so if i leave my laptop on it will continuously print the value many many hours so let me repeat this because it goes back to the while statement again and again it will print the same statement many many times this is called a loop so if it goes back to the while statement again and again when will it stop the loop it will stop only when the condition which we have given here becomes false so here the condition is true always so how do we stop this code now we can press ctrl and c to stop it let me repeat it go to the output press ctrl key 
and then C. Yes, we stop the code. So we saw an example where our while loop was running without stopping at all. In our next video, we will see how to write a while loop where the condition will become false and the loop will stop. Okay, see you in your next video soon.